Colour is a fundamental component of design, influencing not only the look, but also the feel of a piece. But how do you know what emotion your colour choice is going to elicit? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Using colour psychology, we'll demystify the meaning of the most common 11 colours. But before we start, a quick note. Colour psychology differs from culture to culture, so for this video, we'll be focusing on Western European and American interpretations. Let's do it! Passion, excitement, danger, romance. Red draws attention and makes a logo stand out. We've evolved as human beings to notice red really well, to find fruit and berries, and to know if someone's feeling angry or amorous. Red also stimulates appetite, making it popular for restaurants. So if your brand is loud, playful, youthful, or you just want to be associated with a heightened emotion, pick red. But maybe you want something more mature and relaxed. Consider our next colour. Blue is calming, trustworthy and serious. The word blue is quite new to most languages and missing in many ancient ones. Despite this though, blue appears in over half of all logos. So when using blue, ensure that your design is distinctive to prevent it from fading into the crowd. Choose darker blues for a more classic look or lighter shades if you want something a little bit more playful. Blue is also known to suppress appetite. So food brands, you might want to look elsewhere. The final primary color on our list Yellow was one of the first colour pigments that humans were able to mix and has long been associated with the sun, fields of grain and the shimmer of gold. Yellow logos exude cheer, vibrancy and youthful energy, which helps a brand feel accessible and affordable. A soft bright yellow brings a lightness and freshness to a logo, while a deeper, more golden yellow conveys weight and history. Now on to secondary colours. Purple has a strong association with luxury. Historically, purple dye was very expensive to produce, so the colour was only worn by the wealthy elite and royalty. Besides exclusivity, purple can also convey wisdom, innovation and quirkiness. So if you have an expensive or luxury brand that isn't too serious, purple could be a great fit. Orange is an invigorating, playful and striking colour. English only recently adopted the word orange from the French word for the fruit. But before that, English speakers called it yellow red. As a combination of yellow and red, orange has the energy of red and the playfulness of yellow. And as the colour of leaves in autumn or the setting sun, orange is also associated with change. So if your brand is a little bit different, Orange might be your colour. Today, we associate green with the environment and life itself. But this wasn't always so. A popular 18th century green dye was actually responsible for killing people, possibly even Napoleon, because it contained arsenic. Luckily, these days, research shows that green is a totally safe and very versatile colour and it isn't linked strongly to any particular traits. So, to build meaning and uniqueness when using green, clever use of hue and shade is key. Wanting to appeal to a younger audience? Think pink. Rather than a primary or a secondary colour, in theory, pink, it's just like red. We have no equivalents for light blue or yellow in English, so as a relatively recent colour word, Introduced in the 17th century, pink is still the cool new kid on the block. Pink is also a versatile colour in contemporary Western society, from energetic neon magenta to welcoming millennial pink. So if you want a youthful, luxurious vibe, it's got to be pink. Want to stand out from the crowd? Brown is the least used logo colour bringing to mind deep, rich soil or tree bark. Brown is made by mixing all the other primary colours together. 
rugged, serious, and naturally less vibrant than the other colors, brown is great for outdoorsy companies or those offering organic or natural products. Or perhaps if you're wanting to capture a vintage vibe. That's a lot of colors, but we're not done yet. Let's take a look at shades and even the absence of color. Modern, slick, luxurious, black looks good with everything. But is black a color? Humans are able to identify and differentiate between colors because of their specific wavelengths of light, but black differs by being the absence of visible light. Luxury brands love to use black to seem mysterious and exclusive. If your brand is seeking to feel contemporary and unique, consider black. If you want a logo that is chic and elegant, consider pairing black with white. Speaking of, White is clean, simple, and weightless. White is actually the absence of color and can be useful for brands wanting to come across as careful and methodical. Many brands will have a white version of their logo against a background color, which will then dominate the composition. When used as an accent color or added to another color to make it lighter, white can feel youthful, economical, or minimalistic. White can also work for almost any brand and can lend an aspirational or pristine quality. So you want an accessible, simple logo that avoids the severity of black and the starkness of white? Why not go grey? Not too dark, not too light, grey can be a happy medium that speaks of the seriousness and maturity of your brand. For more mystery, go a darker tone. For more accessibility, go lighter. Simple but classic, grey is a softer choice for logos that convey enduring sophistication. So, that's it. Remember, when you're designing your next logo, colours constitute so much more than an aesthetic choice. Colours have widely held, often very deep associations that can help or hinder your brand. Also keep in mind that the interpretations we discussed here are primarily Western European and American and that doing research into color associations for international markets is always important. Good luck and have fun choosing the best colors to make a unique and unforgettable logo for your brand.